Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody falls in love somehow. Thank you, and oh, I feel great. I woke up this morning and had breakfast in bed. Didn't plan it that way. It just happens I woke up on the kitchen table. <laughs> My wife was a little upset with me. She couldn't get to sleep last night. About three o'clock this morning, somebody rang our doorbell. My wife went to see who it was. Some guy was lost, couldn't find his way home. It was me. <laughs> yeah, my wife hates to be disturbed like that. She only gets four hours of sleep six times a day. <laughs> so right away this morning, she starts a fight, wants to know if I can name our kids. <laughs> I know them off by heart, I think. Oh, I have to tell you, Huntley and Brinkley wanted to be here for the show. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, but they asked me to say good night for them. <laughs> Here's a fellow to tell you all about the show. Good night, Chet. The Dean Martin Show, starring Donna Butterworth, Pete Fountain, Jose Greco with Mana Lorca, Joe Gray, Juliet Krause, Les Brown and his band of renown. Special guest star, Bob Hope. Here's the world's best friend, Mr. Bob Hope. Much. Say, it's wonderful finally being here with Dino, the James Bond of Psy Divorce. <laughs> now, he's been on my show several times, and I'm reciprocating. That showbiz talk meaning I'm getting even. <laughs> and I'm thrilled to be here for him, because he's a handsome cat, isn't he? He's got so much hair. It almost looks real, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> it reminds me of a Neapolitan beetle. <laughs> and I was surprised to find Dean here tonight. I thought he was in Houston. Every time I turn on the radio, that's where he's going. I don't know what he's got there, but I'd sure like to get some. <laughs> and don't you love the way Dean works? So easy, so casual. He spends more time on his back than Floyd Patterson. <laughs> I love watching Dean. He's a very relaxed performer. He makes Perry Como look like he's doing the Frug. <laughs> now, Dean's the most relaxed guy on television. Last week, he did a commercial for Hertz, and they flew the car up to him. Actually, Dean just looks like he's sleeping. He's got very thin eyelids. <laughs> oh, he sees everything, he really does. <laughs> Do I? Now they want to use him. <laughs> now, <laughs> now they want to use him in those Jolly Green Giant commercials. How about that? Dean is the Jolly Green Giant. They figure if they get him before noon, they don't need any makeup. <laughs> I'm kidding, though. Dean's actually one of the busiest guys in show business. He works in Vegas, he makes movies, records, has his own TV show, and he still finds time for his two hobbies, golf and, uh, and, uh, I don't know, there's something else he does. <laughs> now, Dean's really a new man lately, which is just as well, because I think he wore the old one out. <laughs> Incidentally, I'm not doing any booze jokes. Dean asked me not to do any jokes about his drinking, and I'd hate to do any about his not drinking. <laughs> because Dean's on a health kick these days. He drinks five quarts of milk a day. You should have seen him last night. He was really homogenized. <laughs> now, Dean really believes in vitamins. He recommends drinking carrot, cranberry, and sauerkraut juice. He doesn't drink it, he just recommends it. <laughs> he uses it for a shaving lotion and has the healthiest beard in town. And he really, it really was an accident that got him on this health kick. He couldn't sleep one afternoon, so he got out of bed, pulled up the shade and screamed, what's that out there? Somebody said, daylight. I gave him a sedative and put him back to bed. And of course, you know, Dean is one of our better golfers, which may surprise you. He swings in the daytime, too. <laughs> Dean's getting more hip into the ball. You've seen Dean swing. From the back, it looks like Gemini 6 and 7 rendezvousing. <laughs> but I love golf. I, I ought to. I owe everything to the game. I was a $10 a week caddy in Cleveland when one of Sam Sneed's drives turned me into a comedian. I've been happy ever since. 
And I play down the springs a lot. You know, they got over 16 golf courses in Palm Springs. They have so many holes there that the gophers have to wear skis. <laughs> it's a picture joke. I don't know why I'm doing it on television. But can you imagine a little desert town like Palm Springs with 16 golf courses? Just shows you what Lawrence of Arabia could have done with Desi Arnaz's money. I just got back from the Palm Springs Desert Classic and all the top pros were there and they were wonderful. They all gave me advice, but I won't quit. So I asked Arnold Palmer what I should do about my swing and he said, why don't you just wait for Medicare? And you should have seen Phil Harris on the first tee. He blew on his hands and they fell off. But the Desert Classic was a lot of fun. But the only star who didn't show up was James Bond. He didn't know it, we didn't know it at first. His golf clubs played three holes by themselves. <laughs> James Bond. Oh, he's really cleaning up that just James Bond's toys, sporting goods, sweatshirts. The other day I bought a James Bond hot water bottle. On the side it said, comfort galore. And Bond really goes in for action. I saw a preview of one of his pictures the other night, and he shot four guys and stabbed three other guys and a woman. And that was in the lobby before the picture started. <laughs> James Bond really lives the part, you know. Even his studio is afraid of him. The gate man forgot to salute Bond one morning, and his cufflink sprayed poison gas for 10 minutes. <laughs> and how about all those spy shows on TV? The Man from Uncle, Get Smart, Secret Agent, and I Spy. Remember when you used to watch television? Now it watches you. There's so many spy shows on television that Russia's demanding equal time. It's an educational joke. Now everybody on television has a secret weapon. I saw one girl stab a guy with her eyelashes. They were tipped with curare. A rare poison found only on television. Another agent wiped out a whole gang with the atom bomb in his pivot tooth. An atom bomb and a pivot tooth. Can you imagine if you forgot during dinner and started poking around with a toothpick? Waiter said, how'd that mushroom cloud get over that steak? One agent had a marvelous secret weapon. It wiped out two shows in another network. Got the sign off decoration. As a result of all the spy shows, they're putting out some frightening weapons for kids. I think with just the toys we manufacture, we could wipe out the Russians. I really do. And remember the little Didi doll? Now she spits in your eye and gives you a judo chop. <laughs> and this spy stuff has really influenced the kids. My little nephew was over at the house watching television. I tried to change channels. He snarled, touch that dial and I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> he didn't scare me. I pulled my man from Uncle Pencil on him and froze him for three days. <laughs> And how about those attache cases with the guns and poison gas and hand grenades? A guy walked into my dressing room with a case like that. We held him underwater for 10 minutes just to be safe. <laughs> what a mess. How did we know he was selling Sara Lee cookies? This young fellow is an actor, a singer, and a dancer. His name is Joel Gray, and he's just about to get a shine on his shoes. Uh, here, pal, be a big tipper. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel Gray. With a singable happy feeling A wonderful way to start To face the world every day With a gotten ka 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 Little melody that keeps making The worrying world go by When you walk down the street With a happy-go-lucky beat You'll find a lot in what I'm repeating when there's a shine on your shoes There's a melody in your heart What a wonderful way to start the day Happy go 
lucky beat You'll find a lot in what I'm repeating and Bob. I can't tell you <laughs> how happy, how happy I am to have you both on the show here Well, tonight. thank you, Dino. Oh, it's all right. Yes, I haven't been this happy since I sat on a Bing Crosby record. <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, you're really a beautiful girl. Isn't she, Bob, beautiful? Silly boy, can't you see me here with nostrils akimbo? <laughs> how is it whenever I make a picture, I never get a girl who looks like her? Oh, what are you complaining about? I once made a Western, didn't even get the horse. <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, Bob, how's your new picture coming along? Oh, great. Phyllis. <laughs> They're laughing at the question. <laughs> you know that Phyllis Stiller's in my picture and waiting to see her big scene. Four guys strap her into the chair. You never heard such yelling and screaming in all your life. Then the chaplain says a few words over. You, you mean they electrocute her? No, she's getting her hair done. <laughs> you guys are all alike. Look at the straight only... line got a bigger laugh. Wait a minute. You know something? You're always complaining <laughs> about women. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how come you're not like uh, Chevalier or Charles Boyer or, or Louis Jordan? The French, you know, they really know how to make a girl feel like a girl. Yeah, they did wonders with Bridget Bardot. Oh, <laughs> I don't even understand French. I have trouble figuring out half their postcards. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It's easy. Follow me. Okay? Right. The book. Le livre. Le livre. The book. The pen. La plume. La plume. The pen. To open. Ouvrir. Ouvrir. To open. Ferme. To shut. To shut. Ferme. Now the pronouns that you need are je and vous. Je means me and vous means you. That's you. Now do them all. Just watch me plow right through. Just send vos to shop <laughs> and may. Now, <laughs> Rouge, and your eyes are blues. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, come and join me in the dance. I, I am president, president of France. <laughs> well, I must say, you're very quick studies. <laughs> Let's do something else. I'm game, Bob. How about you? <laughs> yeah, well, anything you can do, I can do worse. <laughs> Brush. Up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. We rush up your Shakespeare, and the women you will wow. Just declaim a few lines from Othello, and they'll think you're a heck of a fellow. If your blonde won't respond when you flatter her, 
Tell her what Tony told Cleopatra. If her virtue at first she defends well, just remember that all's well that ends well. So of your Shakespeare, and they all. Start quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare, and the women you will want. If your girl is a Washington Heights dream, treat the kid to a Midsummer's Night's Dream. Just recite an occasional sonnet, and your lap will have someone upon it. If she then wants an all by herself night. Let her rest every 11th or 12th night. Just brush, brush up your Shakespeare, and they all kowtow. Thinks down, they all kowtow. Oh, yeah. And they all kowtow. Oh, yeah. Bob and Juliet. Well, I sure want to thank Bob Hope, Juliet Prowls, and uh, Pete Fountain, <laughs> down at Butterworth, Jose Greco, Joel Gray, and the lively set for being with us tonight. And I hope you'll all join us next week when my guest will be Lucille Ball, just about the funniest woman in the whole world, Bill Cosby, Big Tiny Little, the great comedy team of Rowan and Martin, and Miss Kate Smith. Meantime, you keep all them cards and letters coming in, folks. And be sure to send in your rose for your rose bushes. We, we, we're running out mighty fast, so you be sure to send for yours this week. Now, remember, these rose bushes only cost a dollar apiece. Only one dollar or three for ten dollars. And remember, how fast these rose bushes grow. You gotta remember how fast they grow. All you gotta do is plant the seed and then you jump back. And uh, now we guarantee complete satisfaction. If you're not satisfied in one week, you just send the rose bushes back to me. And remember our special bargain offer, good tonight only. The first 50 people who send in $1 for a rose bush will receive absolutely free our introductory gift, a diesel locomotive. It's, it's free, friends. We send it to collect. All you have to pay is the postage. On. Oh, boy, did I breathe at all? What is this? We, everybody loves somebody sometimes. <laughs> everybody falls in love 